Hi, it's Michelle Schneider, Director of Trading Education Research for MarketGage.com, speaking to you on Trader Talk about what we really can expect in the market in terms of levels at this point. We like to look at a certain number of instruments we think that really kind of tell us what's going to be happening next. And clearly, after the major sell-off and an ensuing bounce, there are certain levels that really need to clear in order for us to get any kind of excitement about turning our huge cash position into actual stock and equity position. One of those, of course, would be junk bonds. I've talked about it a lot with you guys. And right now, they are still above the pandemic low, but on the other hand, they have failed a very key level at 90, and that's JNK. So at this point, we would want to see 90 be taken out, and I think that would be a very positive sign. If we move over to the retail sector, considering consumer confidence came out better, of course, that's a lagging indicator. However, if you want to look at XRT, we really want to see 60 clear. If we look at semiconductors, which of course probably are the most beat up and very interest rate sensitive, we want to see SMH get through 195. And finally, if we look at IYT, which is the transportation sector, which on the heels of FedEx was really the key to this most recent crash, we would like to see that get back up over about 203. So right now, as we're looking at the markets, we're encouraged that we're holding some long-term moving averages going back six or seven years, minus the pandemic blip. But on the other hand, we have to be much more convinced that this bounce is significant before we take our large cash position and then put it to work. Thank you so much. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.